Girl, I had an accident. Juliet. Yes, I am the father. I want to see her, please. Where is she? Please. Sir, you can sit down there. She's in the theater. Theater. So I told you to sit down there. Yes, yes, please. Oh. I, I want to Sam. see my daughter. My Juliet. daughter. Okay, okay. you are Juliet's yes, father. Yes, please. please go sit down, sir. Please. I want to be with her. Yeah, you can't be with us at this moment. Sir. Why? How do you mean I can go in? Please. Sir, please go out there. She can get going. Please, please. 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 My daughter, just sit down. I will attend to you, okay? Who must be the wicked person to do this to my Julie? Yes, Juliet's father. She's my daughter. It's all right, calm down now, calm down now. Um, we are just attendant, but God heals. Hmm? Um, just pray for her, okay? Excuse me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. At least she's not dead. Go ahead. Come here. I thought I heard a cat drop you. Is your visitor not coming here to say hi to your mother? No, Mom. That was Michael, my office mate. He was on his way. Michael? I thought it was David. Or perhaps Collins. The one that drives the same car as Austin. The one I saw you with at the supermarket. Mom, what's the point? The point is, when are you getting married? All your mates are all getting married. I can't have you here being dropped by different men all the time. Go ahead. Your, your friend sitting in your room waiting for you. She's inviting you to be her chief bridesmaid. Can you imagine? You're not ashamed of yourself. 
Go ahead. Nonsense. I said go ahead. She's there. Look. There you are. I've been waiting for long in your room. Baby girl, you don't look cheerful. What's the matter? Nothing. It's just my mom and her usual nagging, nagging, nagging. Anyway, you should know women, you know. Are you going to smoke in here? Of course. What's wrong with smoking here? This is not a public place, is it? Well, I thought you and your mom were finally getting along. I'll start getting along with my mom when she stops nagging me about getting married. Look, Sandra. We are all women. And she's right. I beg your pardon. Sandra, you have a lot of boyfriends. All of them are old and ready. So why don't one of them just pick you up as a wife instead of an ordinary bedroom? I'm getting married soon. Really? To who? Do you remember Chris? Chris? Okay, the one that traveled to the United States. Yeah. He wrote his parents and said he's coming home this Christmas. Yeah. He said that his sole reason for coming home is to get married. Are you serious? To who? To me, of course. Don't tell me that both of you are still planning to get married after the last quarrel you had before he traveled. Oh, see. You don't think that because we had a little quarrel a long time ago, Chris will actually come into this country and marry someone else? Chris will either marry me or nobody else. Sandra, action baby. Ah, just watch me. You just watch me. It's 70 degrees. Rising to 42 degrees. Rocking to 30. 25 degrees. To 20. Don't forget, we're losing half. It's getting back to 40. 45. We're getting half. It's moving up to 65. Again now. Seventy degrees. Rocking to thirty. Twenty-five degrees. Is it? You see, there is an excommunication of the muscles which have failed to connect the right signal to the cerebral hemisphere. Doctor, please, we will understand if you can only speak in English. Yes, doctor. Please simplify, simplify it for us. Simplify well, it. From the reports we have here, um, I'm afraid your daughter is paralyzed. No, no. My Julie is not paralyzed, Doctor. There must be a mistake somewhere. No, no. Doctor, is there anything to be done to, to make sure she's not paralyzed? Well, Mr. Educator, I'm sorry, but I don't have any idea what to walk in. Doctor! Excuse me. I 
كانت فيهم بالهيكس God is in control. Take it easy. It will be all right. God is in control. Daddy, oh. am I truly paralyzed? I fought her several times. She told me she's no longer interested in the affair. Sandra. Fine. I'm equally not interested in the affair. But what I want now is my 5,000 naira. Is it true? In this case, you can take her. Stop it, I'm yes. no longer interested. Stop it. That's right. All I need for you. Yeah, 
<laughs> oh god. Oh, mama, let me say something. I hope I'm not putting you to too much trouble. Yes. Safe, safe. Well, um. I miss homemade food. <laughs> That's supposed to be Christmas presents, and it ought not to be open until after Christmas. I mean, during Christmas. It doesn't matter, brother. We can as well open them now. All right, go ahead, naughty girl. <laughs> I think it's one. Chris, you know it's so nice to have you back. At least one family again for Christmas at least. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? But there's only one missing link. What? What's that? Never mind. Something dead to me. I know. Your former old girlfriend, right? <laughs> Read between the line. Yeah. Nosy rosy. <laughs> I got it there. Yes, I guess right. Did. Yes, you did. Okay, if mommy and daddy ask after me, huh? Tell them I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay? Oh, Alright. Yeah. 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 I'm sure you don't recognize me. That's probably due to the fact that uh, we've not been formally introduced. My name is Chris Azuna, a very good friend of your daughter's. Formally introduced, no. But I think I know you. And I know how you managed to get to America. Not to worry. Juliet is not around. I'll let her know you called, eh? Uh, sorry, sir. Is there a possibility that that I wait for her? Or either you you, you you tell me where she is. Maybe, perhaps I can go and pay her a visit there. No, that won't be necessary. Mm -hmm. She is supposed to be here tomorrow afternoon. So I will let her know you called. Eh? Have a nice day. All right. Thank you, sir. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, You all right, Chris? Yes, Dad, I'm fine. I hope you enjoyed the food. I made it specially for you. Sure, Mom. 
Thank you very much. To say I miss your food is an understatement. <laughs> I'm dying for it. <laughs> you mean they don't cook African dishes over there in the United States? Rose, they do. But it's not like mom's. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Everything about me used to radiate happiness in you. That was a long time ago, Sandra. How did you know I was coming back home today? And what are you doing here anyway? Chris, what are you talking about? Do you know how long I've waited in tears for your return? Four years of my life has been a misery without you. Miss me? You miss me? You miss me for what, Sandra? For what? Huh? Is it the tears that you made me cry for several months before I traveled? Oh, no, 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 no. Just tell me, Sandra, Please. what exactly did you miss about? Or is it a door to your heart that you shut against me each time I try to reach out to you? Please, please, no. Just tell me, Sandra, please. what exactly did you miss about? Please, please, I'm sorry. Please, in the name of God, please. Look at my white face, please. I was just a growing girl. I didn't know what I was doing. I can't even remember any other things I was doing. Please, Chris. Please, don't forget me. There are many pains in a man's soul that memories cannot be erased or healed in a long time. A broken heart is one of it. Okay? Now I am tired and I need some time to myself, okay? If you may, please. Please, Sandra. Please. 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 doesn't want to see me. She doesn't care. Now who doesn't want to see you and who doesn't care? Sandra. Juliet. Juliet. She should have come to the airport to welcome me. She should be here with us. 
I even took out time to go see her at her place and her father told me that she, she she's traveled. Is that the reason why you're unhappy? If this Juliet of the girl didn't see you as her Romeo anymore, be considered Sandra. God's sake, Chris, this lady loves you so much. She cares so much about you. She made her time to come pick you up at the airport. She assisted with cooking and preparations and everything. And I am not her puppet, Brenda. Neither am I her object of emotional games. Now this is serious. I don't know why she's here. I crave for Juliet. Okay. Please, for God's sake, you just got back. You have everything to be happy for. Juliet or no Juliet, today you're a king before us. And I am a king without a queen, Brenda. Now what's with you and this Juliet? Julie? You've been going on and on. For God's sake, please snap out of it. Oh, you want to know? Yeah, I want to know. I'll tell you then. <sighs> Remember when I was struggling to get my visa? Uh-huh. You know I had a very short time limit to get the money to purchase the visa. And I didn't have the money. Of course, you very well know the condition of our parents then. Uh -huh. I was going out with Sandra then. I thought I was. Desmond, I've tried. I've really tried. Everybody I've talked to over this issue don't want to assist me. I don't know why. Look, Chris, I reserved this visa opportunity for you because of my relationship with your parents. I've risked my neck much enough delaying this much. I'm sorry. Someone else might have to take it. Ah, no, 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 Desmond, please. Desmond, I'm begging you. Just do this one favor for my family. I'm begging you. Uh, please now, Desmond. I need, I need time. I just need time, okay? Just some, just a little time to raise the money. I'm begging. Okay, three days. Three days, Desmond. Three days. Okay. Three days and nothing else. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about that, Sandra. I'm really sorry, okay? It's a, it's a very critical and desperate situation I'm in right here. Okay, please, I need you to help me. I need your help. Look, I, honestly, I do. If it's about your fairy tale about needing money for an American visa that you're looking for me, sorry, forget it. Oh, Sandra, how could you talk like this? How could you talk like this for God's sake? It's not Who fair. made you think that I'm going to count my 180,000 naira and give to you? I don't even have it. Sandra, please. It's my life we're talking about here now, Sandra. You don't have to boy you. Did I ask you to boy you? Will you stop embarrassing me? Sandra, listen to me. Please, I'm begging you. Please. You know we've been going out for the past three years now, okay? I know, and I, I and you, we both know that. We both know we've been going out for the past three years. Listen, it's just the fact that I don't have time on my side. As soon as I get to America, I'll double that money for you, I promise. Why are you embarrassing me like this? I'm sorry. I do not have money to give to you. I saw you bought, you bought, excuse me, <laughs> 150,000 and I bought some clothes and shoes the other, the last one. Please, Sandra, don't do this to me now, please. Sandra, 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 I will put it down. I can leave you alone. I will put it down. Help me, man.
Christ! Priest. I've gone round everywhere, went to even the, uh, the... Why are you trying to kill yourself with hypertension? It's not your fault that you are not from a rich family. And maybe it's not the will of God for you to even travel. Forget about it, Christ. My friend, is it by force? It's not by force, sir. Forget it and face your future. 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 Chris! Chris! Chris, you haven't told me yet why you have not looked me up for over three weeks now. And you're here drinking like a fish. Huh? Check you up. Eh? Look you up. Look you up for what now, Juliet? Mm. Look you up for what? Tell me, what is it? Listen. I am in a very big stress. What kind of stress is it? Mm. Okay, why don't you tell me? Maybe I can help. Mm. Help. What can you help? Uh, Are you saying I'm not capable enough to help you? I need 180,000 Naira. Eh? Can you hear me? 180,000 Naira to travel to the United States of America. And I have a time limit. I have a time limit. Two days. Yeah? Nonsense. That would also, so now that you know, what help can you render? I don't understand you. I try. I look for people. I go around. I've asked <coughs> virtually all my family friends. Huh? The friend of my father. My mother's friend. Everybody you meet and ask to help you. They don't want to help. Come into this shop by this time. I'm just coming from church. I went for the morning mass. I was afraid to buy my clothes before. If you don't come here early, uh, now rush now to the bank. This is two hundred thousand. I filled the tellers. Rush, pay it in, and come back here in thirty minutes time. Yes, sir.
Wait, are you still like this? What's this? See for yourself. Juliet, what's this? Two hundred thousand naira. Don't forget me when you get to the States, okay? Two, two hundred. Do you know what you've done for me? Do you? God. How can I ever thank you enough? Wait a minute. Where did you get this money? It's my dad's. He asked me to take it to the bank. Your dad's? Well, I hope we'll be able to pay him back someday. Are you sure about this, Juliet? I don't know. I guess it's the faith I have in you. What did he do with my money? Daddy, I'm sorry. I had my reasons. You have your reasons. You should have waited till you start earning your own money before doing such a stupid favor. I am going to arrest that boy and get back my money. Daddy, please. This has to do with his future. He'll pay back someday. Daddy, please. I know what to do. You will see. So you see, Brenda, that's the girl that made me what I am today. And I must find her. And until I do, I shall not be happy. So what's Sandra doing here? I don't know. When you see her, ask her. Overstayed your welcome here. Get your things and leave now. Brenda! What's wrong with you? Brenda! Why? I think you know why. Or do you suddenly have a memory problem? You think my brother is a fool for love. You've forgotten when you abandoned him years back when he needed your help the most. Now you come here bold to want to rip from where you did not sow, you miserable gold digger. But that was a long time ago. That is history now. History my ass. I said leave. I love your brother. I love Chris. I love him more than anyone you ever meet. Brenda. 
Brenda. Sandra, get your things and leave this minute. Leave. I think you better leave. Okay, I'll leave. What insolent? What happened? I'll tell you later. Juliet, right? Yes. I'm Brenda. A friend to your neighbors. They told me about your accident and I felt I should come pay you a visit. Oh, how nice. It's okay. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. So, uh, how long are you going to be here? Um, Chat, so. That's nice. Um, the wheelchair, do you really need it? Well, just in case you haven't heard, I'm paralyzed. What? Oh my god, I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was this serious. I'm trying hard to accept my fate. I'm, I'm very sorry. What did she say? What did she say? She's in the hospital. Hos hospital? Doing what in the hospital? She had an accident. Accident? This is the address of the hospital. Is she alright? How is it? Bad. 
bad news. How bad? Very bad. Sorry. Juliet, why didn't you want me to know? Why didn't you want me to know? She actually asked me not to let you know. Why? Juliet, why? How did this happen? Um, it was a, a hit and run driver just beside our house. And she was going out to post this letter. How could this have happened to her? The driver didn't even wait. Some people are really devil in disguise. She even tried to kill herself because she felt that I'll be disappointed when I see her condition. Hmm. She's wrong. I don't understand you, son. What is she wrong about? No amount of paralysis will 
stop me from marrying Juliet. Let me get it straight. That girl is paralyzed for life. Tell me, if you get married to her, how do you expect your family to be like? At what point exactly are you trying to make that? I strongly believe that your love will not be so blind as to lead you to marrying a paralyzed girl. And how do you describe the blindness of a man's heart? While you're trying to answer that question, I would like you to know that Juliet was knocked down on her way when she was going to post this letter to me. Yourself because I went to a party, you thought I would not be home on time. Look at yourself until they put a ring on your finger and wear in a church. Until then, no male pistol is allowed in this house. You will not dictate my life for me. I make my own decisions, and embarrassing me in front of my friends will not solve anything. If there is anything that is going to change, is your stay here. Embarrassing me in front of my friends will not change anything. Where are you going to? talking about may not even work. It will work. I am getting a consortium of medical experts to work on her. And I believe she can work again. Just look at your son. That's my point, son. It will cost you a lot of money. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, maybe what you should do is to settle this Juliet with some money. Yes! Since you're so indebted to her, then you can go ahead and marry another girl of your choice. Mama, look at me. Look at me, that girl made me what I am today. How much do you think will be enough to settle her? Tell me. To leave that girl now would mean to kill her. Just like you want to kill this family. Look, son. We have waited for a long time for this moment. Juliet is paralyzed. And there's nothing anybody can do to make a paralyzed person to walk again. 
pay her back the 200,000 naira she gave you. You can add interest if you like. Sandra is my choice of wife for you. She's a good girl. She does all the domestic jobs, cleaning, sweeping, cooking, caring. What else do you want from a woman? My decision on Sandra is final, and nobody can reverse it. Wrong, Dad. Because even if it takes the last drop of my blood, and every single thing that I have worked for in the United States to make Juliet walk again, then I shall make her walk. I shall make her walk. If anybody shall be paralyzed, it is not Juliet. It is me. You are making a very big mistake, son. I'll accept it. Well, uh, Mr. Chris, I'd like you to meet the team of experts that has been working tirelessly on Juliet's case. Next to you is Dr. Ricky Phillips, brain surgeon. Nice to meet you, Ricky. And um, Dr. Joseph Osagi, spinal cord analyst. Nice to meet you, Osagi. Dr. Ben Mohammed, the neurosurgeon. Nice to meet you, Ben. Thank you. Well, Dr. Ricky. Well, I've done some necessary medical tests in trying to reestablish a connection between the brain and the spinal cord. But at the moment, I cannot be certain of any positive result. X-ray report on the spinal cord shows that there's a slight breakage. <laughs> so what are you all saying? Hmm? Are you all trying to tell me that she's still paralyzed? You see, there is an excommunication of the muscles, which have failed to connect the right signal to the cerebral hemisphere. Having realized that you've invested so much money on Juliet's case, we have decided to invite you here and inform you that um, all effort has not been successful. I am sorry. So what you're trying to tell me now is that I invested four million naira to no avail. Is that what you're telling me? Please take it easy. That I invested four million naira on all of you who are meant to be professionals, professionals in your various, various, various departments to no avail. Huh? Is that what you're telling me? I am asking you for God's sake. She's supposed to be my wife and she's sitting on a wheelchair. Mr. Chris, take it easy. I should take it easy. I should take it easy. Four million naira. Okay. I'll take it easy. No problem, I'll take it easy. I'll just send her to the United States and get a real professional doctor to work on her and put her back on her feet. Rather than spend my money on some dummy headed dressers who call themselves professionals and can't do their jobs. I'll take it easy. is concerned about you. I understand your fiance Chris is in town and he's feeling very bad about your situation. Yes. As a matter of fact, it's hurting him more than it's hurting me. <laughs> Baby girl, don't fool yourself. Hmm? Sorry, what do you mean by that? Considering your situation, the least Chris can do is tell you the simple truth. He's just putting up a front to deceive you and to make you feel as if he's feeling very bad about your situation. 
Sorry. What is that supposed to mean? I think it's time you knew the truth. The next time you see Chris, ask him. Ask him who Sandra is. Then ask him how many children the white woman he used to get his resident permit has for him. Bloody liar. Out. Hey, hey. Hold it. Come on. You're just being helpful here. Check it out. Who is lying? Is it Chris that has been fooling you? Or you that has been allowing yourself to be fooled? By the way, Chris is going back to the United States in three weeks' time for a permanent stay. Has it told you? Think about it. So, how is my baby beauty doing this morning? I got you some gifts. Some things. Huh? Chris, get out. Get out, please. Excuse Maybe. me? Just go get out, please. Chile, I hope all is well. Is something, are you alright? Maybe we should ask your wife and kids in the States if I'm alright. Uh, maybe we should ask Sandra if I'm alright. Sandra? Who told you about Sandra? Who have you been talking to? Chris, you think I'm a fool? When were you going to tell me about Sandra? I didn't you tell me you care about me? I care about you for God's sake, Julia. What are you talking oh, about? Please. When were you going to tell me about her? When? Oh, by the time you would have been back in the States in three weeks' time without telling me. Listen, Julia, just pay attention, okay, for a little while. I've known Sandra way back. That's it. Chris! Between the both of us. The last thing I expect from you right now is sympathy. I am not sympathizing. Look, with... I have accepted my fate as a cripple long before you came. I knew you'd treat me like this. Look, why don't you just... Oh, you just shut up there. I'm sick and tired of you ranting on about this rubbish. Do you understand? I love you and that's it. Well, I don't love you and that's it. So just go. Get out. Quit. Get out. Go. Get out. Excuse me. You have to go. Go, Chris. Go. Get out. Leave me alone. Okay. Bloody liar. If that's what you want, yes, fine by me. Right. Just leave. Go. Judy, don't you think you're being too hard? Oh, leave me alone! Just, 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 Oh my God, do you want to kill yourself? <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. It's okay. It's It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can not throw somebody for a while, can't I? Okay. It's okay. It has always been the money. That's all you've cared about, Dad. The money. But I keep telling you, I will not allow Juliet to fight a battle alone. What battle are you talking about, son? What battle? Is it the battle I and your mom have been fighting right from the day we had you? No money, no shelter, no help from anybody. What battle are you talking please, about? Please. We need to keep fighting, shouting at each other like this. How do you expect me to feel for Christ's sake, huh? Get about to the round town with some luxurious cars, living in a mansion like this, while the girl that made me what I am is, is reaching out to me from, from, from a wheelchair. And because of her misfortune, this family will have to lose the opportunity they have to be happy for once. I told you when you tried to spend a whopping four million on consulting of doctors. Four years. Four good years. That girl sacrificed her family's relationship because of me to send me abroad. I have no regrets, no regrets whatsoever on whatever I spend on that girl. That makes me regret having you as a son. Gideon, please, I'm begging you, it's enough, Chris, it's enough, please. You have a choice, father. And I think you better start considering the option of disowning me. Chris! I really have a choice. You don't have to feel that way about that. I 
think he's right. Right about what? I'm asking you, Rose. Supposing you're the girl on that hospital bed. Uh, you're right. But let's face reality here. Forgot that that girl is paralyzed. What kind of life does she have with Chris? Okay, agreed. She once helped him in the past. But his future is at stake here. I think the best thing for him to do is to reach a compromise with her. Maybe settle her with some money. And she'll be happy and remain a family friend while Chris gets married to a healthy wife rather than spend his hard-earned money on one cripple or paralyzed girl. Mom, that's true. Talk to Chris. Reality hurts, but then it's good we accept it sometimes. I remember, Mom, he's the only son of his family and needs reality. I think Sandra is okay for him. If you may ask me. Hmm. You don't understand. Delivered the message? Yes. Are you sure no one was suspicious? Nobody. You're very sure. Very, very sure. You're sure? Okay, thank you. That's your balance. Mm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Chris, got you this time. Muscles dead. I mean, it's very difficult for me to treat. I must say this. Madam, can't you do something about this? The person who recommended you to me 
Say that you've handled more difficult cases than this very one. Try your best. This is my only daughter. Please. Okay. I'm going to try. I know with God all things are possible. But you must get me these items. Oh, what are those things I'll do? A bottle of honey. Mm -hmm. A bottle of palm kernel oil. Mm -hmm. Snake fat. I'll, um, I'll get the rest for you. Ah, brother. Oh, thank you. I'm just coming. Are you going out? No, no, no. Hello, your mother. It's my oh. son, Austin. He's a police officer. Ah, pleased to meet you. I don't think this thing will work. Jenny, don't say that. You have to believe. Everything is going to be fine. Maybe she should just leave me to my fate. Don't worry, you'll be okay. All right?
you would have improved if only you developed the willpower too. Well, I heard Chris is getting married to Sandra in a few days' time. Julie, I'm sure you love Chris as much as he loves you. The only problem to your marriage now is it's your paralysis. Look, instead of feeling sorry for yourself, why don't you fight back? How? Look, Julie, you have to motivate yourself. I believe you can, you can try and, and, and walk in a few days' time if you see Chris. I, I'm sure he will abandon Sandra if he sees you walking. It's no use. What about his wife abroad? How oh, true. There is no wife. It was Sandra who came here herself to deceive you. Now you have let her fool you. Look, Julie, you have to be strong. You can't allow Sandra to cheat on you. You have to take back what is yours. Ask, Ask him. Ask, Ask him, him Sandra. Sandra. You must fight, Julie. You must be strong, Julie. I know you can do it. Chris is yours. Whether she likes it or not, Chris is yours. <laughs> oh my God! Julie, are you all right? Leave her alone. That's all right, Juliet. Rise and fight for your love. That cheats must not win you. I mean, that girl cannot take what belongs to you. All right. All right. Yes. Pull your weight. Don't be weakly. In the battle is of the Lord. He has given you victory. Yes. Arise. Juliet, arise. Yes. Arise. Yes. Yes, you are getting it. Yes! Yes! You got it. The Lord. The Lord has done it. Yes, glory be to God. The Lord has done it. And I have to start preparing to go back to school. That's true. Yeah, I'm so glad for you. Mm. You have improved greatly. Yeah. Okay. It's taking a lot yeah. of energy, though. Yeah, we're all the same, thank God. Um, how soon is Chris's wedding? Um, in two days' time, I suppose. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Do you... I think you have achieved enough to be able to upset that wedding. Why don't you see Chris even in your crutches? I want him to see me without my crutches. So it's okay if that's the way you feel. Um, do you want some water? Yes, please. Okay, let me get you something. Excuse me. Yeah. Not too cold, though.
like to thank you specifically for coming here today and honoring my invitation. I very well appreciate, uh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> we very well appreciate that. Yes. Now that you are married to Sandra, are you planning to take her to the United States or keep her here until you settle down? Uh, uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You the the young man is so happy that she cannot be busy at work. Yes, I'm sure I'm not busy at work. We'll go upstairs and have those upstairs at the reception. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a nice time. If you need more drinks, just ask for the bar. The car is very fine, yeah. I can see that. So how much is it? Uh, see, in France for a long time. Yeah? And now that you want to buy a car, it's yeah. from me. The car is 2 million naira. But because of you now, I'm going to give it to you at 1.8 million naira. Ah, no, Chukudi, you know what? You know that we've been friends right from childhood. Yes. You understand me? Exactly. You know? And uh, since I went to the United States, I've not seen you. It's about five, six years now, isn't yeah. it? You're right. The least you can do for me is to give me this card, 1.5 million naira. Let's not overtrack the issue. 1.5. Okay, is that all you can do? 1.5. Okay, okay, no problem. It's worth it. Okay. <laughs> now let's you're go talking. to your car, you bring the, the check. Yeah, now let's go, let's go. Let me get it. Please. I hope you are not buying that car for that girl. Yes, I'm buying it for her. Come on, man. The girl is a platter everybody knows in the town. All my friends have, have a go with her. Even me, Chris. I suggest you buy this car for a girl you can marry. I mean, I don't know how you feel. Come on, let's go to the car. You can give me the check. don't want to eat. So why did you come to the table? Why did you come to the table? You know, you're right. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Ever since you got married, you never really enjoyed this marriage. I'm sure you very well know the reason. Naturally, I don't. Sandra, you know I never loved you. You forced this marriage on me. All this while I've been trying to cope, but unfortunately, the reverse is the case. Chris, Chris, ever since we got married, I've not had any marital bliss. You don't even make love to me. It's been frowns, frowns, frowns all through. The impact of the heat jolted um, and activated, I mean, power into her spinal cord. And, um... Madam, I don't understand. Does, uh, does it mean she will remain paralyzed? Ah, on contrary. Juliet is now walking with her two legs. What? <laughs> yes! Okay, see her oh, coming. Jesus. Juliet! Uh, you can hey. see her. Juliet! She's now walking. Oh, Juliet! Oh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. yes. You made it, Julie. Julie. Oh my God. Julie. I love you. Hey. 
<laughs> oh, to God be the glory. <laughs> yes, you can see she's 80% fit. All what she needs is a regular exercise. I mean, walking up and down to strengthen their bones. God has done God it. God will bless you, Love madam. You. God will bless you. To God, God be will bear you tenfold. To God be the glory. Is what? You are married to me and not to that prostitute. to this girl, I'm you so irresponsible. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about, but I need to see... I say, if anything happened to her, no, I will kill you. I don't know what you're saying, sir. I mean, she, she, she's fine. She was fine when she left my house. Please open the door. Juliet. Juliet. Juliet, please. Listen. 
you, you just have to hear me out. I love you so much. Please, just open the door. Let me explain things to you. Please. I thought you said she came here. Yes. She ran in here and I was just pursuing her. Eh? What, what's all this? Tell me, what actually happened where you people went to? We went to Chris's place and who got there? What happened? She saw Chris's wife and all of a sudden, she just left and I've been trying to chase her and stop her and that's what really wrong with her. What are you doing to yourself, Juliet? Julie. Julie. Julie, listen to me. Okay? There's no point in doing this. There's absolutely no point in doing this. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Julie, wait, 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 wait! 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 Don't take any further step. I beg you, please. Please don't do it, okay? I love you, Julie. Please. Then why did you marry her? I was meant to believe that you were dead. Juliet, wait, wait! Wait, for God's sake, wait! Gosh. Don't do this. Don't do this, please. I beg you. Don't. Don't. Don't spoil everything we've had, Julie. Don't. Juliet, wait! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm not coming any farther. What do you want? You don't have to do this to yourself, you know, you know that. You know you don't have to. You know you don't have to. Okay. You wanna jump? Huh? Alright, go ahead and jump. Jump! Take a dive! I tell you one thing though. If you go, I'm coming right after you. Yes, I tell you that for sure. I'm coming right after you. Because there's no point living when one can't feel alive. Julie, please. Please. Turn around and look at me, please. Give me a hint. Please give me a hint. Juliet! Cassandra! Lion. What the hell do you think you're doing? I heard everything. I heard everything. Liar! Sandra, what, what are you doing? Let her die. No, let me save her. No, let her die. No, Sandra, She's please. She's a homebreaker. Let her die. Sandra, wait, for God's let sake. Let her die. Ah! What the hell is wrong with you, for God's sake? Why are you doing this? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lied. Okay? I lied. I lied about everything. Wait, Sandra, wait. I'm sorry. I'm 
this one. I'm really sorry. I love you too. I love you. Okay? But let me save you. Okay? No. There's no point killing no. her. There's absolutely no point killing her.